There may be snow outside, but there is a hurricane in the Roadshow kitchen today in the form of, you know who, there he is, Mr. Bob Burke from Potiphar. Good hey, morning. Brendan. How are you? I'm wonderful, man. I got your favorite, bacon. You should all out there know right now, I'm extremely frightened. What? The bacon you looks want great. some bacon? I would. Yeah, come yeah, get let me have some. <laughs> He planned the whole thing. Goes, I'm going to pelt you with snowballs. There you go. Oh wait, <laughs> we have an 11 year old with us in the roadshow kitchen today. That's right. Have some bacon. You're paying for anything you damage. Oh yeah, yeah that's the, we already know that. So what pelted the, me in the back of the head with a snowball? What is the first rule of snowstorms? Don't talk about snowstorms. When the power goes out, eat the ice cream first. Tell me about what you're doing today. Well, besides you know, annoying me. Everybody <laughs> went out uh, and bought bread and milk yesterday, <laughs> and now you've got this sad little dinner of bread and milk waiting for you here today on the snow day. Or you could do what I did, which is to go out last night and buy some thick steaks, a <laughs> bottle of good red wine, and we're going to teach you a maitre d' butter today, how to how to season it up like a good steakhouse would. And I love and it's got the delicious. milk in the wine glass, <laughs> which is the best. Knock it off! I swear, I'm, I'm coming down. If you, if you, don't even think about it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take care of you. That's all you can do right, just right there. How are things at the restaurant? Things are great. You know, it's uh, uh, the roads are clear and uh, and we're good. So come on down this weekend to Pot au Feu. We're right. right in the heart of downtown and we're having a lot of fun. And I'm going to show you a special drink we're going to make. It's called Bobby's Hot Yellow Snow. Outstanding. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. But uh, forget about the bread and milk, Rhode Island. It's time to go out and buy up the thick steaks. And good red wine. This is the That's man, uh, Bob Burke the house. from Potiphar, is here all morning long, and uh, he's going to be here having fun with us. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> In the kitchen this morning with the one and only Bob Burke from Potiphar. Right? I say that nice? Yeah, you yes. did a great job. Like, rolled right it. off my tongue. Yeah. All right, so we are making steak in a major <laughs> table. <laughs> he's back and he's getting me back. Brendan? <sighs> okay, buddy. Just a normal occurrence <laughs> in the McClellan household. Now I've added Bob Burke to that line of, uh, yes, of men in my life where I just let things happen in the kitchen around me. All right, Bob. I oh, Annie has a snowman for our table. This is gorgeous. This I is made a little nice piece. outside snow. Yeah. A beautiful centerpiece. Take it's going to be perfect out, with the steak. Eat at the picnic table. Eat at the picnic table. You Enjoy know. a beautiful snow today. day. This is really important that Rhode Island kids who've been without snow yeah, they all have this been. time, and now parents are going to try to feed them bread and milk. Because you know those are the staples for a snow day, yeah, right? But you know, but you have the philosophy. We got a different. We way got a different thing for a snow day. We. Look I'm at these beautiful steaks, huh? Big steaks and red wine. And, of course, I started with the pepper earlier. Yes, and you did. And now I want to sneeze. And, and um, uh, thank you, Bonnie. I had my microphone off. It's because the, the snow probably knocked <laughs> it off the snowball you know, from Brendan. So what can I do over it. here to prep this? What I want you to steak? do is we just started with some softened butter in a right. bowl. And now you're going to add, I chopped up our shallots okay. really finely. How much should I put in? A lot or just like a little yeah, bit? It depends. Do you like shallots? I do. Then put a lot. Okay. This is true of all recipes, okay? And I'm going to get our steak going that here. so good. And then this is just... Oh, oh listen that. to that sizzle. Oh, that now that my delicious. microphone's on, we can actually hear it. All right, have and a little parsley in. Yeah, and now you're just going to mix it all together. Okay. And... This is great because it's an instant kind of thing. It's great for a snow day. Right. Because the power may go off. You yeah, may want to. true. You still got your gas stove cooking. You can make a steak. So you keep a steak in the freezer. So this is the and now, maitre d' butter now. Beautiful. Perfect. And what we're going to do is because we want to have it ready, is, is that we're going to take it and put it on a piece of foil. And this is what restaurant chefs do all the time. And you roll up the butter into a nice roll like this. Okay. Crimp off the ends. Okay. Put it in the freezer. It's okay. going to last six months or a year. And then we take it out. The magic of television we have this morning. And look at that. It's frozen. So now what you can see is, is, is that oh, it's that already. Get a great shot of that. Look at how good that looks. It's already here. We're going to take the foil off it. And, and it it's already. Right to go right on right top, on top of, of our steak. steak. Now tell me this. Totally I, seasoned. I know that we have the steak on. What do you suppose if someone went out and got the bread and the milk? Pathetic. 
<laughs> just say go out and buy thick steaks and red wine when you hear snow in the forecast there's only one thing to do big thick steaks <laughs> nice bottle of red I, I wine like your thinking, right Bob I do and for those of you who already made the mistake of the bread and milk here's what you do okay really simple solution you're gonna take the bread and the milk with four eggs okay some chocolate okay touch of vanilla all right you're gonna mix it all together you're gonna put it in a baking dish pop it in the oven and make bread pudding I will do that perfect I'm gonna do that. dessert so for we let this just go and then we put the maitre d butter right, right that on nice top sizzle and, it just, just and kind of melt down. we're gonna put the maitre d butter on right at the end but as you can see it's a disc yeah. it's ready to go you've got all of your seasoning you did all of your chopping six months ago right it's done okay it's all done and and we're ready and now we're going to give our steak in the big cast iron delicious. right the cast Look iron that. pan get a nice sear on it turn yeah. it up high get it really seared up yeah. it's going to be almost like oh. you cooked it on the charcoal grill that just sounds good it's going to taste good yeah it's delicious absolutely so, delicious and this is something the kind of thing we do all the time at puddle for so it's it's traditional french cooking it's a cozy little bistro yeah we're open every friday and saturday night right in the heart of downtown so anybody who's coming for theater or pee pack and i love it i love it i tell all the people when you come into puddle fur be sure to say hello and say that you saw me on the road, on the show, road show with audrey yes and uh and that we we're cooking up a storm here today on our uh, on our snow day on our snow day thank our you so first much Bob, for coming in today day. he also brought his bacon too it's a good day when bob yeah. comes would you like a little bacon i'm gonna have some bacon okay we're gonna hand it back now Watch over out. to the Brendan. guys so can't let brendan thank you come so back much, bob. <laughs> where is he i know i'm afraid the snowball is coming <laughs> He asked me to throw I the know, yeah, yeah. <laughs>